Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. So in this video, we're exploring the exciting, dangerous subject of whether ceramic coatings trash your microfiber towels. Why the hell is this important, guys? And what do I mean, trash your microfiber towels? So if you don't know what a ceramic coating is, these are these latest generations of car protection products that you that cure to a very hard resin, durable kind of silica, let's call it, um, layer on your car. When you apply them, you lay them out over the particular panel, you use a clean microfiber surface and you wipe off the excess of that coating and then you apply to another section, flip your microfiber towel, wipe off the excess on that particular section, then get another side until you've used all eight sides of your particular towel. Then you discard that towel and get a new one and keep working your way around the car. When you're just putting one layer of coating down in your car, you may use as many as between five and 10 towels to remove each section by section. If you're putting down, say, four layers of coating on a particular car, then you might use, what, 20, 30, 40? Depends on personal preference. You might use that many towels to buff these coatings off of a car. There is also sometimes a specification or a preference to use more dense absorbent towels with certain coatings. Some of these towels can cost up to five pounds each. If you're using 30 or 40 of them on a multi-layered coating system, then that's what, 150 quid? The extra cost. So this is a significant thing that's worth exploring, this whether or not have, getting that resin in, in these particular towels um, will render the towels then dangerous to use on paintwork as the, the resin cures and stays in the fibres. The worry is that the next time you go to use these, even after that you've washed them, you will scratch the surface of your paintwork. Now, what the current kind of word on the street is, or the kind of advice, and I don't know if there's anything official on this, it's one of the reasons I'm exploring it in this video, because I want to get your input on it. But some of the manufacturers or suppliers will tell you that after you've wiped, use a, used a cloth to remove a ceramic coating, you put it in soak in water with a little bit of liquid detergent or APC immediately, and then you just build, pile them up throughout the day as you're using more cloths. Um, soak them and then wash them and they are safe to use again and I uh, when I've talked about this before a lot of guys say I've done this all the time and it's not a problem um, and I wanted to explore it some other guys that I've spoken to have said you don't want to use them on paintwork again um, because it doesn't come out of the towel. So let's go through what we have done in this particular video to test this and what the actual findings are. Yeah. So what we did in this particular test, guys, is we laid down a microfiber, laid down a microfiber, laid down a ceramic coating. We laid that up on a test panel, and then I used one side of the microfiber cloth only to buff um, or remove the excess of that coating. And what I did is I marked, I just snipped away some of the um, microfiber, so I knew what side of that um, that I'd put the coating on. The rest of the towel has no coatings on it. After the ceramic coating was wiped off, I waited six minutes to represent how long it would take you to go and coat more areas of a car, then use the other sides, then use the other side. So you had six minutes of that particular um, uh, ceramic coating being in the microfiber cloth before it was dunked in this bucket of water with a little bit of APC detergent in it, which is really important. Ceramic coatings, I'm told, start to bond instantly to whatever they, they, whatever they are touched to. As long as there's moisture, I think it's oxygen and hydrogen they need, their RTV moisture kind of triggered. Um, so as long as they've got those conditions, they should start to bond immediately, but five to six minutes seems a realistic test time before, a real world kind of time before dunking them. We then washed them in the washing machine with only liquid non-bio, gave them a little spin in the tumble dryer to tumble them out, and then brought them back out here and tested them on this test panel. And what I've done on this test panel is um, I have taken the side that was impregnated with um, ceramic coating and buffed it one way up and down here like this, just in one direction in one strip on the particular um, test panel. And then I've taken the other side which doesn't have the ceramic coating on and buffed it the other way on this particular test panel. And I've taken the spot that's got the ceramic coating on and buffed it in this corner here, round in circles and then side to side and upside down and then taken the uncoated side and done the same thing over on this area of the panel. And I'm just gonna talk about the results in this particular video. 
Okay guys, so the results of this particular video. First off, going into this, I didn't know what the results were gonna be. Um, and I'm doing this video primarily because I'm interested in this. And sometimes with things like this, you just have to explore it to, um, to really form an opinion. That's why I wanted to do it. Um, and it's an important subject matter, guys. And at the moment, I'm before doing the video, I was leaning towards throwing microfiber towels away once they've been impregnated with ceramic coatings. The reason being why is these particular ceramic coatings, they are not, they're not water soluble. So you can't break down a ceramic coating um, with water. So putting it in water when this ceramic coating is in the fibers, let me use this example. If you ever use the water-based paint and you get it all over your hands when you're doing DIY, you can go and wash your hands with, with water and a bit of soap and you see the paint break down in your hands and your hands become clean again. <laughs> if you're ever using a solvent-based paint, um, these solvent-based paints are hydrophobic. And if, they, if you ever get them on your hands and then you go and wash your hands in the sink with water and detergent, it does nothing to the paint. And you have to go and get some white spirit and all that sort of stuff. And the white spirit, the solvent, will break down that particular um, paint off your hands and it all comes off. And you stink like, uh, stink like a gas station, but it works. So in the same way, these ceramic coating resins, they're held, they're not held, they're not held in water, they're held in, um, another type of solvent, a butyl ether, but they also, because there's other organic resins in there, they have, they sometimes have uh, mineral spirits in them as well, but typically they are broken down by solvents and held in solvents. So that was the first alarm bell with the fact that you're plunging it into water. It, I don't, even if it's done early, I don't think it's gonna break down and flush the coating out of the microfiber towel. I think it's just gonna stay there, um, in my opinion, but, Anyway, what were the results of this particular um, testing? Well, pretty much, guys, this is damn hard to film on this particular camera. Damn hard, but I've, I've tried, and I think I've got the overlay shots. But I'm telling you, from, from what I can see, and it's a lot easier when I'm not doing the camera, this particular section um, here, I don't know if you can see it, if I hold this up. Oh, Jesus. Got out my test panels. This particular section, I can even see it from here while I'm doing this video. I can see all the lines running down it and scratches. Now there are some other scratches, there's even some scratches from the polishing process, but I can spot all of the ones running straight down this panel. Um, in this area here, I can see them all. Um, now when I do the same thing and flip it over this way, I just gotta remember which way I am. Um, I can't see any scratches going this way down the panel when I flip the microfiber over, okay? You're gonna have to, I'm gonna try and overlay your shots of what I'm talking about here. So that first test, something had put lots more scratches going that way on, on the side that had the ceramic removal done on it and no scratches going that way or no scratches, there are scratches in this panel because it's very soft paint, but no pattern of scratches that were easy to see. Like I say, I can spot them as I can spot them so easily on this particular section here. The next test I did was the same. I got the area of microfiber and just ran it around in circles on one particular spot, the area that was impregnated, and then did the same again with the area that wasn't impregnated. And I am telling you again, the area that was impregnated with ceramic coating, there is tons of swirls and scratches in a circle and the area the area there isn't I mean there's some scratches there but it's um it's a lot less it looks virtually right now when I'm filming this it looks like virtually hardly any and this area is just absolutely covered in them so from the very simple kind of testing I think I probably said the word testing about 500 times the very simple testing that I've done in this video um, using a ceramic coating to remove some some ceramic coating off a product, come on brain, um, soaking it after six minutes, washing it and then testing the performance of that. It looks like this microfiber towel now on the side where the ceramic coating has impregnated it will scratch or will put more micro scratches because they're very fine, this is very soft, but puts noticeably more scratches into the paint than the side that's never been used to remove a ceramic coating. And, and that's pretty much the only conclusions that I'm gonna draw on this. 
Um, and it is just with regards to this particular test, which is actually in my head, it's quite a, quite a good test. You know, there's no other real way of doing it. But what I want to know, guys, is what is your opinion on this? Guys that have been in the trade, has anybody else looked at this? Um, and these test panels are brilliant for looking at this because they are so soft. Um, but I can see a difference. So for me, if I use a ceramic coating from now on in, the microfiber that I use to buff it off is going to have to be thrown away from what I've seen in this particular video. Let me know your thoughts. And I know, I already know, I've been doing this for too long. I already know the game. Uh, well, not the game, but I already know what the comments are going to be. The guys that are going to do it are going to say, I've been doing it for 10 years and I've never had a problem. Um, the guys that are throwing it away are probably going to say, no, you need to throw them away. Um, does anyone actually have any sort of knowledge real strong knowledge of whether or not this these coatings will get flushed out of microfibers fully by water and detergent um because i've set, i've suggested that they won't in this particular video um i'm interested in everyone's opinions i'm always interested in people that got different opinions to me as well on this and i kind of wanted to do this to get some answers for myself and it's kind of clarified my thoughts already and i will like i say be throwing microfiber away after i've used it for ceramic coatings this does also raise a wider issue that if you do agree with me and i'm not sure who will or who won't and you do have to throw microfiber away after it's done this it's not in my head viable to use very expensive microfiber cloths therefore in ceramic removal unless you've got very very deep wallet it's you know deep pockets with a big wallet uh, in my opinion so let me know your thoughts guys um, those are mine thanks for watching the forensics detailing channel and this was just a very quick one on a very interesting subject matter so uh, take care and i'll see you on the next video bye for now